Hello everyone, I'm John Richman from ZAI. I'm very happy to hear to talk about our latest module series, uh, GM 4.6 series. And let's jump right in. First, uh, I will introduce the GM series model. GM 4.6 is not our first open source model since 2022. Starting from the very first GM 130B, we have been quite serious about open source our work. Over the years, we have released a whole family of models, such as ChatGM 6B for language model and the Cochrane for vision understanding, CodeView for image generation, and a code video for video generation, and the very uh, many more across the different domains. And on this side, you can see a map of our open source models so far, and uh, include a different color, such as white is for the language model, the uh, GM series, and the pink for the multi-mode understanding, such as the code VM, and now it's called GMV. And the green one is for image generation, and the yellow is for video generation. Uh, 2025 is our open source year of and in this year, we added even more models, including the GM4, DL414, dense model, including like 9B and 32B, and the GM4.5, GM4.6 MOE series model, which is actually our first MOE models family. So up to now, we have released over 65 models in total. And the closed platform like Hugging Face, Monscoff, and others, we have already passed 100 million downloads. If you search for the GM or video on GitHub, you will find that 1,500 community projects really on top of them, and it's much a community driven ecosystem now. Let's move to uh, GM 4.6. Uh, I will introduce it now. So GM 4.6 is our latest flagship model. On many quickly benchmarks, especially in math and coding, GM 4.6 shows the clear game over GM 4.5. It also outperforms open source model releases in the same period, like DeepSeek version 3.2, and even beats commercial models such as the Cloud Sonus 4 on several benchmarks. And of course. If we compare to the like Cloud Core 4.5, there's still be a noticeable, uh, noticeable gap. So we are not coming with everything, but we're getting closer and closer. Uh, but what makes us especially happy is here is um, a renum, uh, this benchmark. Uh, it is, uh, which is closer to real user preference. And on LM Arena, GM 4.6 is fine for number one together with GPT-5 and the Cloud Plus, so it's 4.5, and it's the only open source model here. And so uh, I'm really happy, appreciate, it, and want to thank all the developer who try to who try our model and voted for it. So let's move to the CC bench. So besides the usual benchmark, we also build our own dataset called the CC bench here. We want to text agent style coding in relaxed work not just isolatedly core problem. So we built an agent coding text platform based on the cloud code. And on the top of that, we create CC Bench version 1.1. So compared with the version 1, version 1 uh, the new version added 22 hard coding tasks. And we systematically evaluate Cloud Core Sonnet 4, uh, cloud Sonnet 4 and GM 4.5, the Kimi K2 and the music versions 3.1 terminus. In total, CC Bench has 74 tasks. It's covering the front end development and internal tool development in the data analyze, and also all grid implementation. So for every model, we call the full agent trajectory, the planning stem, the tool calls and code ads and execution. We fully open source this benchmark. So you can check all the links later uh, below in the higher phase. And GM 4.6 made a clear jump over GM 4.5, and over uh, over performance is close to Cloud Sonic 4 with about 68.6% win rate, while being significantly better than under open source baseline. 
So uh, where does the performance come from? A lot of, uh, is, let's talk about GM 4.6 training. And in this uh, we will start from the data when training design. First part is the general pre-training. So we start with about 15, billion, uh, 15 trillion tokens of the general proposal data. Includes web page, books, uh, Wikipedia, and then multi uh, multi uh, multilingual content, and so on. So this stage is all about building a strong all round database model. The context then here is uh, four thousand tokens, and the next step is called the reasoning continual pre training. So on top of that base, we have about seven trillion tokens of extra code in the reasoning data. So it's part of this a uh, part of this con comes for the high quality open source reports and another part is math science and contact program with full state by state reasoning. Then we come to the mid training. So we move to repo level codes, uh include that multiple files, issues and pull requests and the difference from the same project. And all of this packed into the one long contents and the goal is to Pitch the model, to follow in the close fire, and understand the chains, and to also understand the prudent square chains, and read the real project structure end to end. So at this stage, we extend the content to thirty two thousand, and and the model can basically see the key file of a medium sized ripple on the one shot. Then is a synthetic reasoning data. We added about 500 billion token of synthetic reasoning data. So it covers the map, science, and algorithm with experienced thinking traits. So it means the lay of the groundwork of future agent behavior, like breaking down the task, reflect, uh, reflecting on the mistake, and doing long chain reasoning. Uh, the next step is the long contents and agent data. Uh, finally, we use about 100 billion token of long contents and agent data here. The sequence then is now pushed further to 128,000. Uh, uh, 128, for GM 4.6, it's 200,000. So the model can handle four documents, the whole data uh, code base, and very long charts. At the same time, we feed lots of agent trajectory. So include like, multi step two calls, the search, and the code execution, uh, like extra. So uh, it is the phase improve the model long content capability and the agent capability. Uh, also in this slide, we introduce Slime. Um, it's our reinforcement learning framework and based on SGLAN in inference stack. Uh, in practice, uh, we design an in-house R training framework here, and we also open source it. Uh, we found that the different R tasks need very different system design. Mm. For short reasoning tasks like the math or the code completion, so the best setup is a uh, clock rate uh, series agriculture. So we train the inference set in the same GPU, so that the one batch update the weight, so the next batch immediately then perform the latest policy. The screen is the most of GPU memory and computes, and, but for agent tasks, and for example, the real software engineering, uh, Usually have many steps, like for example, open the browser and hit uh, back in the API and for the external response and um, extra. So if we force every worker to stay in the same list, the full system will get dragged down by the slowest build task in the GPU speed either. So in slide, we decide a hybrid agriculture to support both uh, the couriers and a synchronous model. If you look at the diagram, the blue plant is Megatron batch training engine with read for data buffer and upset weights. And the green part is high throughout SGLAN interference cluster. So with a routine in front of a dispatch request, and then in the middle, the data buffer acts like the shared nervous systems. So one side connects to training and the other side different to agent environments. For regular reinforcement learning tasks, we keep training and in uh, inference on the same GPU pool using with a similar mode and the dynamic sampling, instant update, and the maximum throughput. Once we switch to complete agent task, we move to a decouple and synchronous mode. So the row outside 
point directly to real environment and just generate trajectory and write them into the buffer. And then the training side consume the data in own space of the model and uh, periodically push new way back to the raw water. So the nice thing is, even if some tasks are super slow, they don't block the whole training pipeline. So on top of that, we have done the branch of efficiency optimization. Mm, like the main training still run before system uh, stability, but after each policy update, we do block with FDA criminalization on the latest ways and send the FDA version to the raw worker. So the most expensive part, the data generation and running FDA with much higher throughput while training the style keep BF, BF16 position. So in practice, we will get the benefit for accuracy and speed in this framework. Now let's zoom in reasonable ILO and then let's slide with some flaws. So the first one is about the two-state curriculum we use. We don't change all the fixed data set from start to finish. Instead, we use a two-stage difficulty curriculum. In stage one, we use median difficulty problem. In each batch, some answers are right and some are wrong. So the rewards have various and the gradient are meaningful. When the model gets stronger, we switch to extremely hard problem in stage two. But with 512 samples, you can still occasionally get the correct solution. So you can see on the ports, the blue curve is our method. After switching to the hard problem, the curve is keep going up. However, use the uh, median difficulty the way uh, it's not on the red curve. The next picture is about a single uh, stage reinforcement learning at 64,000 tokens. Mm, some previous work suggests multi-stage uh, reinforcement learning. The first is that, uh, uh, for example, is uh, 16, then 32, then 48, and finally six, uh, 64. But we found that for a model that has already been trained with 64,000 token uh, SFT, those shorter ILO strange actually make you forget its long content ability. So average output lengths and the final 64k token stage can't fully recover the loss. So the red curve here is our approach. We start directly with 40, uh, 64,000 uh, token and train in one single stage to the end. It's clearly outperformed than the blue middle uh, multi-stage curve. Uh, the, the picture below is about the code ILO. So on the left bottom pole, we complain two ways of committing the laws for code ILO. So the blue one is classic sequence means laws. Each sequence has one loss value, and the red one is our token weight means loss, which average over token instead of sequence. The token weight version converts faster and most steadily and it reduced the chance to generate a very short template answer just to gain the reward. On the right, you can see the theta. Uh, we do get a science re uh, reinforcement learning on GPQA daemon, and the message is almost opposite of more data is better. So the red curve, red curve is trained only the small set of expert verify, but high quality multiple choice question. And the blue curve use mixed quality data. So this result that a small blood clean data set gives much better performance. So for scientific reasoning, data quality really matters more than raw size. After talking about GM 4.6 language model, we move to the multimodal. GM 4.5 verse supports the both image and the video understanding. It is our latest visual understanding model. And go and on grounding and the image understanding benchmark, it shows strong performance and the clear advantages over the other open source model release around the same time. So agriculturally, we have the three main parts here. The one is the version transforming quarter are found. And then it's like with MLP projector, and the finally is to a 4.5 best model at the quarter. 
So we try hard to keep the virtual input as original as possible. So the model can see the image negative resolution and the aspect ratio instead of focusing everything into a fixed square. So this matter a lot of US screenshot and also long vertical image and the PowerPoint slides. So for the video, we in also insert a time index token after each time. Best quality telling model, this is the front C and this is the second C. And they help you understand the temporal order and the reagent, which is crucial for actual understanding and step by step rate uh, producer. Uh, we also use our method, uh, as we researched before, co uh, in Coke Agent. Now, the GUI agent capabilities also support the GUI 4.5 So it can, like, con uh, it can also help you to control the computer and also, like, the website to control, uh, it can use the mouse or the keyboard touching and to communicate with your uh, browser also computer or mobile environments so how to use gm 4.6 or gm 4.5 v model the first one is using an open source way uh, as we know this both these two models is open source so you can use the echelon or via app or other framework to influence it uh, along with the weights, uh, on the release day, we already had SGLR and the VLLM integrate ready. And we also work with many third party open source frameworks like the Llama Factory or the MS Sweep. So, thank you to this community. There you have, you can choose uh, any that framework you want and to try our model. But the GM, uh, GM 4.6 model is a large model with like, more than 305, uh, 355. Uh, Billion parameter. So if you don't have that H100 or like another uh, GPU, there's an easier way to uh, use our model. So in this slide, we show the deploy uh, command of using Echelon or the VLLM here. The next slide, uh, we can use the gem on the Z.AI. Uh, Z AI. This is a website and you can try GM, uh directly and you can use the writing code you can use it to generate the powerpoint and that so on and in this uh, demo is uh, using one command to write the google searching in our .com, uh demo so you can just uh, communicate with it and also gem is famous in coding capability so we also provide the GM coding plan, which connects GM with tools and other plugins that cloud code or other coding develop, uh, develop tools and to provide a very strong coding assistant experience. We also have a short demo video that uh, show how to replace a Yodi model in a cloud code like Stava with GM 4.6 here. And you can, uh, CD, you can watch it on YouTube. Then is the uh, our community activity. Beyond today talk, we are regularly host events, both online and offline. So whenever we release a new model, we usually run a several community session afterwards. I, as the first one, there is the AMA in Reddit, and we also have some. Uh, we also have some uh, offline and um, on site uh, techno uh, technology sharing, so you can join us. The final uh, slide is some important links you may to know. Uh, it's about our website, uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, to try your model as Zeta AI and also our API on here. Then we also provide GM 4.6 technical, bo uh, technical board and GM 4.5 tech reports. Uh, you can check it. And if you want to join our community, here is the Discord link. And also the GitHub link is below with the open source model, including the uh, readme to how to deploy on the open source method. That's all of today. Thank you very much.